The first thing that I animated was a bouncing ball. Fairly confident that's the same for many other people, and that's just because it's such a simple, easy way to get started. I didn't even have a drawing tablet at the time, I was able to do it just with a mouse. From that point I tried out digital art. I got a drawing tablet, which made things a lot easier. I'm trying to do backgrounds, I found it very difficult early on to make things look how I wanted them to look. Some early works I did, they were the first things I was properly proud of. But eventually I decided to try and create a project called The Concrete Garden. It's about this gardener in a greenhouse who plants buildings for little people instead of plants. I remember I wanted it to be two, three minutes long and I was just told, no, that's, that's, that's too ambitious. Strip it back. And, and they were right, of course. It was, it was the best thing I could have done. In the end, I made something that was, by my current standards, pretty basic but I'm still very happy with it it's still the earliest proper project I made if I could do it again now I'd do a lot of things differently but that was the point of it learning from the process from that point onwards I was a lot more focused in creating art getting into an art school I used this time to, to do more focused experiments I, I created this skateboard animation that the purpose of it really was to have a 2D character in a 3D environment. I barely barely touched any 3D stuff, but I learned how to create a room in Blender, and from there I decided to animate on top of it. And <laughs> I gave it an interesting sort of abstract color palette. I just had a lot of fun with it. I tried out more traditional things like walk cycles with this detective character. Then I decided I could try some, some moody lighting and record some dialogue and try animating that. I made a sculpture. It was inspired by David Armsbury, and his process was when designing a creature, making this this physical 3D maquette, and I just thought they were gorgeous. Between projects, I found it hard to be motivated, so I decided to set myself parameters where I would get seven days, not one after the other. I would create a single self-contained animation based on a concept. I tried out all different styles, I tried out different bits of 3D animation. I managed to try out some stop motion as well. Second semester, we were given a single word prompt and I made this little animation about a man in a chicken costume on a parade float while the world disappears around him. It's <laughs> ridiculous. And I just had th the most fun making it, I think. It's, to this day, what I'm the most proud of making. And that's been the same for every project I've worked on. <laughs> I can keep that up. I'm going to be really happy with how things go. <laughs> if I can keep being proud of what I'm doing while still enjoying what I've already done, I think I'm going to keep loving it.